what is going on here. We're back playing as Adam. I think this might be... The accident we were in? I don't think it could be the accident that Richard was in. Find Charlie. Find Charlie. I don't know. I think one of them. <sighs> what? What a night. Yeah, one of the objectives, I think, was to grab a, a music box. I think that mission was one of those missions where you might have to do multiple times to maybe get like a trophy or something. So we woke up from maybe a, a bad dream. All right, let's check the board. I don't know, I don't get what's the point of the pin board. We can view everything from like the menu. Please hold. An employee from World Union Lawyers will be available in less than one minute. Connecting now. I don't think we'll ever get the room. <laughs> Please hold. 
An employee from World Union Lawyers will be available in less than one minute. Connecting now. It's been like three days. I want my conversation. Yeah, so we can't view. Yeah, I guess this information in the menu. I think it's only the items we can collect that we can view. Yeah, you guys can pause if you want to read all of that. Alright, we got date book. Alright, nice. Yeah, we did go to the medical center. Get John. Yeah, examined. Alright, we've already seen the pictures. The only thing uh, John drew was circles. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> My p piano skills. Alright, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Right now, no, no new messages. Messages. Alright, I think Amy is in the apartment. I mean, she should be. Last time we left her was in her little work study. Yeah, we've already seen these pictures, but then I feel like... Is that something... We are su supposed to get from the images?
I don't know, I, I tried walking straight. He ended up going to the right. <laughs> Doing circles. Yeah, I was just thinking like if we say open this but then we can move forward to interact with whatever that is. I think that would have been kind of interesting. Alright, let's go see Amy. There is one question in this world, John, that you should be asking yourself every day. Are you truly happy? Happiness comes from your brain. I could tell you a lot about your happy brain, about dendrites and synapses, but that would be quite boring. So instead, imagine a cave. A small, hollow ball filled with a sweet liquid, like a cherry. That's how it all began. With the brain of a little primeval tapeworm. Let's call him Bob. Of course, Bob was not his real name. Tapeworms had long tapeworm names, just as long as their bellies, of which they were famously proud. But sadly, nobody remembers those true tapeworm names. Now, Bob lived in his little hole in the ground, and was totally happy with his life. The earth was warm and comfortable, just like your bed. And with that, he was quite satisfied. But one day, Bob realized that the world around him was changing. It was growing cold and damp and wasn't comfortable at all anymore. This made Bob very sad. Because when the world changed, Bob would have to change too. And neither his happiness nor his lovely long belly could stay the same. So the tapeworm did something very interesting. He took his head and carefully turned it inward on himself to the ball with the sweet liquid that was his brain. Now, Bob's outside world was completely connected with his inside world. And when the outside world would change, his inside world was safe. That way, in the ball with the sweet liquid, the little worm could preserve his happiness forever. And he lived happily ever after until the end of prehistory. So remember, when the world and everything around us becomes cold and damp, we have to turn our outsides in and let our outside and our inside become one. And when you close your eyes, little John, then imagine how that would feel. That was a long com conversation <laughs> or combo. All right, let's. What? Well, this is not something I can view. Pick up. No, we can't change the music. Is it me or those uh, electric toothbrushes? Kind of look like a, a Star Wars themed <laughs> toothbrush.
What is that? I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind. Or... Or is this some kind of stupid test? That's it. That's all they want. Downstairs, you mean? Hmm. What are you doing? Come up here. Well, I went to see him before. So after meeting Steve, we just left. Got beaten up. <laughs> Got ganged up on. Now we have to uh, go back to Steve. Looking like this. Let's make our way back. I'm not sure going back to the apartment is a option. I think we made our way to that homeless man before. Mars, our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Interested? Marset Inc. is taking applications now. Valid nanoscan required. I think my days. <laughs> we can go to back to the yeah apartment. Maybe freshen up a little. <laughs> Already back, sir. What does it look like? Have you had a successful day so far? Oh yeah. We call getting beaten up, robbed, successful. Then uh, yeah, funny, funny enough, we have a a robot, <laughs> but not one that that can help us. What? It's raining.
Alright, I don't think there's anything that can help us. Yeah, it wasn't raining before. Let's look at the board. Let's see, we've already seen this. Right, what is this? Right, nice. Yeah, you can pause if you want to read that. Yeah, we're looking for the man in the picture who was helping Tracy our wife and son from the apartment well why is it going down? <laughs> no we can't use that Right, I think we should just go back to Steve. Yeah, I'm surprised we can't change it into that jacket we have in the wardrobe surprising enough it's not raining Where did the rain go? Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime more effectively. Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. A nanoscan takes no more than two minutes. Yay, yeah, it could be that. AI rain. I'm okay. I got beaten up, alright? Yeah, some thug down there. Oh. You don't want to help me. Got nothing to say. Alright, fine. Do you have children? Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nolan is not in the mood. I don't think any anyone would be. Especially after getting beaten up. Can we talk to you, this person? No? Alright, let's go see Steve. Steve Rogers. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Captain America. Steve Rogers, his real name. Man, Richard, look at you. You're, you're a walking corpse. Did you at least get what you wanted? Yep, here. Don't look at me like that. It's just a password. Will you help me? Fine. But I can tell you right now that it's not going to be quick. I can't do that all online. I have to get a copy of the database first. How long will that take? A day at least. <sighs> okay. I have some other stuff to do anyway. You know, concerning those dealers. Are you going to report them? You know, I'd be careful if I were you. You know what one of those guys told me? That I'm dead. What? I, that, that's a joke, surely. Or a threat. Didn't sound like it. Some guy called Jay is telling everybody, apparently. Richard, they're junkies. They're high. They hang out all day in Neverland or wherever it is they go these days. Jay, or maybe J-A-Y? Do you know who they meant by that? Maybe a hacker. Something was with his arm. Huh. A hacker. Jay, something with his arm. Augmented, maybe. Th that rings a bell. Wasn't there a, a narco? I guess we have to investigate and find out more information. Hey, I'll send you some material from the archives. Maybe you'll find him there. Okay. All right. Oh, Why is this? Jeff Kazowski, augmented arm. Jack McHale, Augmented Arms, Hacker. Oh, this could be something. What is this? J. J. Kazowski, wanted terrorist in hiding. In hiding? Okay, but where? Alright, nice. Good lord. Jack McHale. Okay, so much for Jack. All right, so it's not Jack. He's dead. <laughs> More bots. Wonderful. Oh, why is this? Terrorists connected to the Doomsday Club. The breakpoint hackers, probably. That could be something. Right, what is this? Right, I think we'll put this back. Here, this looks interesting. Jeff Kazowski, 
Researcher in the field of robotics. Augmentation of the right lower arm. Luddite. Breakpoint went under the radar. Connections to Berlin's anarchy scene. Doomsday. That's an anarchist's club. I could try there. Okay, Steve. Thanks. I'll call you about the move scan search. Y you want to go to Doomsday? Are you mad? There's a raid there every other week. I want to know why I am apparently dead. Oh, come on, Richard. That's just junky talk. You're alive. Concentrate on Tracy and James. And on your health. I don't know, Steve. I don't have a good feeling about it. Why does he think I'm dead? Maybe he knows something about James, too. Yeah, it's getting more and more interesting. Right, is there anyone we can call? Well, let's call Jennifer this again. Contact is currently offline. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, you can only call your contacts if they're highlighted. In Warsaw. A drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern Security Zone has been reported. Very nice, we got a buffet. Like before. Oh, and the one thing I do want to check. It's been revealed today that last month cyber criminals hacked the communication service of the cloud. Yeah, if we can access the the work hub. No, we still can't use this. That's not Troy, is it? I think it was. Going into Frank's office. Yeah, I didn't think it would be useful. Can't interact with anything else. All right, let's go. Keep an eye on your blood pressure. The New York Civil Security Administration building was destroyed by five missiles. 
missiles. News from New York. Martian colony Red One has begun testing its ultimate. Let me see if we can get any more information. No, from him. I don't know. Do we go back to the apartment? Do we take a train? Yeah, we might just have to go back to uh, the apartment. Yeah, I know we... kind of just... come back from... Uh, the apartment. Well, we can't speak to you, Simon. the doomsday club yeah it looks like uh, we're taking that train Let's just uh, make our way to the train station.
a representative of the settler group Marset, spoke at a press conference yesterday to make the announcement. According to Marset, the colony is expected to be autonomous within a few days. In London, it has been Alright, that's going back to the apartment. Can we speak to... No, we can't. I don't know, the volume was a little low there. Let me speak to her first. I feel, I feel like sometimes if I interact with the guy at the door, he might say, you can only come in if you have like a plus, plus one. <laughs> oh. Where's she going? Alright, let's speak to you. Richard Nolan? Ah, just what I needed. Faye. Faye? I almost didn't recognize you. You've some nerve to come back here. Isn't this where the scum of techno-capitalism gathers to die? In your article back then? Sorry, Faye, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. What? Then why did he speak to her? <laughs> Who is this? Okay, one second. Somebody's coming. Hey, man, do you play Neverland? You need a starter kit? I can get you everything, your houses, your ships, wings. You sell real life things too? <laughs> real life? Yeah, sure, if you're in it. You you name it, I got it. Uh, what do you need, man? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, some noob, I'll disconnect. I'll consider it, okay? Hold on, yeah. 
the other guy is back. I'll talk to him later. What? Alright, I feel like we might have to do some dealing with this guy later on. Sorry, coming through. Can I get... Hmm. Can I get fries with a hot dog? No mustard. And that's it. How much? What? Three dollars? Say no more. Say no more. Where's Tracy? Who the hell said that? What do you know about Tracy? It wasn't her. You know where she's hiding? Hey! Hey! This isn't your kind of place. I'll be fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you think so? You got a code or a companion code? Ah, <sighs> none so. Go home to your family. Hey, what did we agree on? I don't know. What about my fist in your face? What you want some do? <laughs> Man, no one got told. <laughs> or oh, it looks like you're gonna have to. I need a companion code. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we need, we need that code. What Mina? Well, I can't get the code from this this guy here yeah we can't speak to you well we can speak to her again why are you standing outside no companion code i've been trying to reach mina all signals have been disabled mina's at the club <laughs> mina's always at the club all right nice I mean, uh, we'll talk to him. I'm, I'm guessing calling M Mina will be the way to go. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I need a companion code. Great. Give me your ID and I'll send it tomorrow. I need it. Now. Okay, forget it. You have reception? Of course. How do you get it? Wizard. I could get it for you, but it's not entirely legal. I get that. How much? 900. 
900. I can live for a month off that much. Hey, there are drones everywhere, man. You want a deal like that? Go to Neverland. What buys wizard? I don't think so. I'm not paying nine hundred dollars. Consider it, okay? Deep. That's what he is. Deep. All right. Looks like we'll have to call Mina. Come on, Mina. Currently, all signals within Sector 36 are disabled. Damn, no reception. Hey, does one of you have a companion code for me? Uh, not for you, man. What? No. Alright, the island is in, in your mind. Most popular virtual world. No screaming, what the? <laughs> this is one offense. I'm committing right now. The hell with this? I'll keep going. <laughs> Currently, all signals within Sector 36 are disabled. So, does that mean I'll have to go back on the train? Go back to the other area, call Mina, and then make our way back. I don't know. Let, let me just kind of explore. this area at the moment I don't want to yeah go back then <laughs> it doesn't work all right that's not something I right, spoke to you uh, before the fascists will attack today, betcha. Let them come. I'm prepared. You have reception? You're joking. Can't you see what's going on here? All right, I feel like we have to buy the wizard or whatever it is from him huh fine and here you go your wizard What is this thing? A tablet? <laughs> mm. 
Hold on with it. Now we can call Mina. Richard? Hi, Mina. Wow. Why do I have the honor? Is Tracy there too? No. Something happened? No, no, everything's fine. Huh. I think this is the first time we've ever had a chat. Hey, listen, Mina, I need to meet a couple of people at the club and... You don't have a companion code. I'll send you one. Meet me inside by the entrance. New data from unknown. No new cloud messages. I don't know. I thought we had a message or something. All right, what I'll do is. I'm gonna leave this part here. Uh, what uh, I will, yeah, do uh, from the next part is uh, just yeah continue on from from here. Um, yeah, uh, there should be two parts up. Um, so uh, another part after. After this one, so uh, we'll go and uh, meet up with Mina, investigate the the Doomsday Club, <laughs> which will be kind of interesting to see. So, but uh, we are not in the best of shape. After getting robbed, beaten up, we're not having uh, the best of times, are we? <laughs> That's one hell of a awakening from the accident. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support uh, on this series. Uh, I know. It's a very unusual game <laughs> to play. So, yeah, it, it's kind of interesting in terms of what is happening with uh, Tracy, James, and uh, yeah. We'll have to see what happens. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you for all the support. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this part. Um, let me know if yeah you, you are enjoying the game. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> so yeah, it will be interesting to see how this game kind of ends. So. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next part.